Last week, an HVAC company called Quilt held an event in Redwood City to launch their new product, a residential heat pump. I feel like I'm uniquely qualified to talk about this product because one, I've been in the HVAC industry for about 20 years, and two, I lived in the Bay Area for almost 10 years, and I'm a huge fan of tech companies such as Apple, Google. I closely follow those types of companies. So when this company came out, that kind of intersected both of my interests. Of course, I had to watch their their live event. So here are my thoughts on Quilt's new heat pump. So what is Quilt? So Quilt is a brand new HVAC company based in Redwood City, and they're dedicated to selling residential heat pumps directly to homeowners. It was started by ex-Google and ex-Apple employees, and it looks like they're trying to tackle the residential HVAC market with a direct-to-consumer strategy. Companies like Nest, Allbirds, and all those countless mattress companies have all tried to disrupt their industries by going direct to consumer. Let's see if Quilt can do the same thing. So what are they offering? It's simple, Quilt is offering an all-in-one solution for a residential heat pump, and they're doing it all in-house. They're doing, they're supplying the equipment, they're doing the installation, and they're doing all the servicing. And from their website, it looks like they're offering a two and a half ton heat pump with up to two fan coils to serve two zones. So what makes Quilt unique? I think there are two different aspects that make that makes them stand out from the rest. One is their design aesthetic, and two is their go-to-market strategy. First off, after watching the live event, their equipment is really, really nice. I think one of the things that the HVAC industry has kind of ignored is the way that their equipment looks, especially for homeowners. If you look at a home and try to find their HVAC equipment, good luck trying to find it. There's a reason why we put them in the side or in our backyards. It's because they're ugly. And the same thing with the indoor section. There's a reason why they're in the garage or tucked away in the attic. It's because they're ugly. I think Quilt has done an amazing job of designing their equipment. The outdoor unit, they, it looks like they basically put a, a covering over the uh, the outdoor heat pump. It's uh, it's black. It has like nice sharp angles to it. It has their logo, easy to read, and it stands out. And honestly, I wouldn't mind having that thing still in my side yard in my backyard, but I wouldn't go out of my way to hide it. If anything, people would look at it and ask, what is that thing? Because it looks really nice. And the same thing for the indoor part of the uh, the system. And I think the, this is the most important part because one, you're living inside of your house and you have to look at it the entire time. And two, they kind of, there's, there's a couple of aspects that they, that they did that I haven't seen done with the other HVAC manufacturers. One thing that they did is they designed, first off, they're going with a wall mount and they designed it so that it's, it's less than nine inches high. And they did this so you could place it above a window or above a piece of art or, or a picture frame. And I'll get to why they did that in a second. Most windows, the, the spaces above the windows, I don't know, 10, nine inches from the ceiling, that little gap. So they designed it so you can mount the fan coil above the window. And they did that so you could mount it there and they did it so it's short enough to fit in the space between the ceiling and the top of the window. And they also designed two kind of decorative panels that you can use so it'll you're not afraid to have this in your in your living space. They have a just a plain white panel and they have a wood grain looking panel. And honestly, I think they look really nice. One thing that they that Quill also did was they built in an integral light. So if for some reason you don't you don't want to put it above a window. Say you have a picture frame or a piece of art, you can mount this high wall above that and have the light shine down and dis and kind of highlight your picture or your piece of art. The second thing that kind of makes them stand out is their go to market approach. Traditionally for homeowners who are looking to either upgrade or install HVAC into their homes, first things that they would have to do is look for a contractor or if they have some idea of what they want to do what they want to install they could start looking at a manufacturer, but the, the vast majority of homeowners will probably reach out to a local contractor. Now the quality of contractors vary, not just in the HVAC world, but just any contractor. And you're gonna have to look for a contractor that you're comfortable with 
and installing these this equipment to your home. And depending on the contractor, they're usually comfortable with a handful of brands or they're usually a dealer or loyal to a specific brand. And also on top of that, if you have a contractor who's been in the business for 20, 30 years, they're probably comfortable installing one, a certain brand or two, a specific type of HVAC system. I'm talking about mainly furnaces. And depending on what you want installed, I know for myself, I'm going to move to a heat pump sooner rather than later. And for people looking at quilt, I would assume that they are looking for energy efficiency. They want to move away from fossil fossil fuel burning equipment. So they're going to want to look at a heat pump. And there are contractors out there who will kind of steer you away from a heat pump. They're not comfortable using that technology for whatever reason. And they're going to try to steer you towards using a gas furnace. And, you know, this is my home that I'm having this equipment installed in. I'm going to want a certain type of equipment installed. And you're going to have to kind of weed through all those different contractors who are going to try to steer you to a certain brand or a certain technology. So by quilt going all inclusive, doing the whole install, providing the equipment, I think that's a good thing, but I also think that's going to be hard for them to scale. So what are the pros and cons? I think I covered all of those, but just to briefly go over them again, what are the pros? I think their equipment looks great. It's a lot nicer than any manufacturer's equipment that's out there right now. They took a lot of design considerations into into their thought process when going to market with this. I like that they're going with just wall mounts. It's easier. I know a lot of the homes in throughout the United States are different. You've got 100 year old homes, you've got new construction. I think the easiest way to address all those types of homes is to go with a high wall mounted approach. Going to market direct to consumer, I think that's going to be really, really difficult. It's expensive. On their website, it says they're charging $6,500 per zone. And looking for also from their website, it looks like they have two zones matched to each outdoor unit. So most, most homes in the United States. They'll have a main living space, a dining area, and then they have multiple bedrooms. So how are you going to address those other bedrooms? Are you Can you install more than two fan coils to one outdoor unit? What if you have a, a massive home? Do you just add more quilt heat pumps? Or can you, just, can you do up to four or five fan coils? We don't know. Is it just two and a half ton? Can they go up to five? We don't know. So right now they're taking reservations. It's not clear as to when they'll, they'll start installing equipment, but I'm, I will definitely keep my, my eye out once that happens to see if, it's, if they have any other product offerings. So my final thoughts, I think what Quilt is doing is awesome. I have respect for any company that tries to tackle an old industry. The HVAC residential market is, is very old and kind of set in their ways in the way that they're going to market. The market kind of played out this way. There's a reason why car dealerships exist. It's, it's really hard for a manufacturer to make the equipment and then sell in such a large country like the United States. That's why car dealerships in different markets exist. But then again, you have Tesla who came in and went direct to consumer and they're doing it by going direct to consumer why not quilt right yeah and i think any any company that is trying to move towards a greener environment by pushing heat pumps by moving away from gas furnaces i think that's all all well and good so i i'll keep a close eye on quilt to see how they're doing i'm curious to see how fast they can roll out and if they're going to come into any stumbles across, along the way. But stay tuned to, to this channel to, for more news on Quilt and any other HVAC related news. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe. Share this video with somebody who might enjoy this type of content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks.